course she's been raped. Look, look, look at how she moves. Yeah, she's been raped. Look how, look how she doesn't have sex that much. Look how she has sex all the time. And I have to put it together like this for you so that you can understand what's happening in all of these cases. In every one of these cases, this is what's going on. They get a rape kit. They get a rape specialist. And a black man. That's all you need for a rape case. Get out my get out my way. 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 Get out my $100,000 cash, all $100 bills, and I want to invite you to a free training that shows you how I went from $10 an hour to $10,000 a month with my online business. Text CASH to 301-273-1238. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and more importantly, the Me and Two movement. This is... Are you fucking serious? As you know, when I have the vest on, we're probably not going to do any playing. Um, for all of my people, once again, all my men, if you have not purchase your men to t-shirt there is no reason to be asking me about august and no you should don't even ask me no questions i, I don't even start vetting you until you send a picture with you in your uh me and two t-shirt come on samson come here hey 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 today we talking about sam i'm uh, sam uh, we talking about sean oakman um the baylor football player was headed to the league, multi-million dollar deal, um, same story, lose everything, it, it's, it's no different, I'm not going to say um, a, um, rising athlete meets white girl, no, it's successful black man meets nothing ass bitch, it's always going to end the same way. Successful black man, nothing ass bitch. As soon as they meet, it's vinegar and fucking baking soda. Come here. <laughs> Come here, Sam Sam. Sam Sam. Come here. Come here. Here, come, here they come. I don't see it. They, he got to learn. He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. I'm not a picket sign type nigga, but come August, it's going down, dog. Um, if you want to be part of the Men 2 movement and the Men 2 movement group that goes to D.C. in August, you have to be part of the Men 2 movement, meaning that you sign the Men 2 petition on change.org, that you have your Men 2 shirt, and you've been personally vetted by me. Nobody will know the time that we're going to meet up and all that shit like that. I'm going to say all that shit behind the scenes, so you have to come through me. If you're trying to get in touch with me. There's been a lot of bullshit going around there. A lot of AO Conseco accounts on Facebook. Um, so this is the AO Conseco account that you're supposed to go to. This is the thumbnail. This is the Tobin Frost account. And this is the Instagram account. So there's no more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck up, no more mix up. Um, 
To get your men two shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Uh, the men two shirts are $20. Every other shirt is 15. All headwear is 10. This shirt is not available yet. It won't be available till the end of March and only AO Nation members will be able to purchase it, meaning that you already purchased, you know what I'm saying, your whatever shirt, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we look at your PayPal, if you ain't bought nothing yet, you can't get the shirt. I don't want everybody to have my face on them. Um, of course, you know, for all the new folks, the PayPal that you buy your merchandise from is not the PayPal that you donate to. That PayPal is on the screen at least three times an episode. It's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. This is the PayPal that you donate to if you want your um, PayPal note read during uh, the AO Nation donation conversation that we have every third Sunday. Um, you can also donate to the Cash App and the Venmo. All that shit's in the description box. Listen, for all of you new business people and shit like that, do not send nothing to my inbox. Like, you a rapper, you a clothing line, don't tag me. Dog, don't say my name unless you're ready to do business. I'm extremely fucking busy. If you got a story over here and all that shit like that, but don't bring me to your brand if you're not ready to do business. I'm too busy, dog. Pure point blank. No disrespect, but this is how this shit go on this end. Prices start at $200, they go up to $2,000. All good. Also, listen, this is not my only channel. The Big Face Podcast is the first channel. The Rap Trap is the second channel. And Stupid Rappers is the third channel. All those channels got different fucking content. The videos that go on one channel don't go on the other one. Usually. All of them have their own fucking content. So if you're not subscribed, please learn how to work YouTube and subscribe and hit the notification bell on all channels. Get your shit together, big homie. What do we want? Help. Say hey to the people. This is Samson. Y'all, if you have not went to the um, Stupid Rapper show, and seen the new batch of, or you can go on my Instagram or Facebook and see the new batch of puppets. But I've actually introduced, I introduced two of the new puppies on that show about Lil' Key. This is Samson. Of course, he's scared because it's a glass table and he's looking down. Say hey to the camera. Just got him this camouflage. Kyle and shit like that. All right, go ahead. You scared? Um. Also, listen. Uh, the Men Two YouTube channel is now up and running. Go to the Men Two podcast and subscribe right now. Um, you know that they're gonna try to wipe out this whole situation I have going on. Um. So I'm going to give them a buffer. We're going to put all of that good shit. This video too um, will be on the Me and Two podcast. Also on there, we'll have real life testimonies from men that have been through this hellacious process of being lied on. Uh, right now, there are two videos up on the channel. Um, one is the R. Kelly clip. Speaking to that bitch, Gail King, and the other one is a new one I just put up today of um, an African bitch calling 911. So they're in America. She called 911 while on the floor just going crazy. Just, oh, God, please help me, help me. And a dude is over here recording the whole time. Looking at her just going crazy on the floor, screaming, making it seem as if she's being murdered. So from Africa, she knows that America plays like this. If you pretend that a black man is doing something, they'll pretend with you. All they need is for you to open the fucking door. And that's so fucking throw it off 
to know you need to know that your bitch knows that at any fucking point in time she can hit the button on you. If you get too out of control, if you ever jump too fucking crazy, she can hit that fucking button and they all know it. They can dog. Here's the thing. That's why, you know, I try to put y'all on as much shit as I can. Um, but if a person lies about something, they have a reason for lying about it. There's no reason for a bitch to say, oh, no, I don't know that you can just get somebody killed or arrested by lying and, tell, and saying that you um, that they beat you or they raped you. Oh, no, I didn't know that. It's the same way that a bitch will tell ludicrous that she, uh, I didn't know who you were. You know what I'm saying? To make it seem like she's not a groupie. You know what I'm saying? Because she don't want to be seen as a groupie. It's like, no. If you don't want to be seen as a groupie, then don't act like a groupie. Don't act like you don't know what I'm saying. Don't do not do this deception shit. Don't act like you don't know that you can get a nigga fucked up by lying and saying, yeah, I definitely know that that can happen, but that's just not my speed. But if you ask her that shit and she says she don't know it, then it's time to get the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because in these times, we need to know who everyone is. There's no time for any type of... And I, I'm telling y'all, man, just stay in the house right now. Right now, just stay in the fucking house until we can get a law passed, laws changed, get something in place. Like, just, just, just for right now, until we get shit squared away. Like, until we get this shit... Where it need to be at. Get on some, like, on some, prize. My nigga, shout out to my nigga prize. Like, P-R-I-S-E. I remember that shit. Um, it, he an artist out of um, California and shit like that. But he got a song called Get Out My Way and shit. Um, and in that song, he talk about, shit gets stuck in your head too. Like, get the fuck, like, bitch. I'm not focused on no hoes right now. I'm not on that shit. Well, like, I'm not, like, bitch, if I can't just go ahead and pay you some, really, like I told y'all, if you can't tell a bitch I record, we ain't, that paperwork shit don't work. I, I Obviously, it don't work because a bitch can consent to sex, but then midway through say, I don't want to do it no more, and if you don't stop, it's rape. So she can say that you didn't stop. So that consent don't mean shit. And they and they bamming niggas, as we see with Sean Oakman, for fucking hoes that wanted to fuck. So that shit don't work. It don't matter if she came to your room at 3 o'clock in the morning. Rape. So what you need is, bitch, if I can't record, I, I record all my sexual encounters. Me. I record all my sexual encounters, like, and, and, it, and it's not for me to put them shits up on the internet, ah, oh, man, like, like, we passed that shit, I do it for my safety, the hoes that I'm fucking, women that I'm fucking, if I'm fucking a bitch, will... Be fine with me wearing a, 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 a camera and recording the shit if I'm letting her know, hey, I'm doing this because I just don't want no trouble. You understand that I don't know you. All the fuck she wants anyway is to, you know what I'm saying, she just want to enjoy herself and shit like that. She she feel the vibe. She understand you not no fuck nigga and shit like that. The bitch just want to get her sexual thing. It's all good. It's love. That means we have a really good understanding right here. I'm going to set the camera right here. All good. Bam, boom. Just like that. If you can't do that, then you're not where you need to be at anyway. You're not, like, you need to get your nuts up. You need to get, you know what I'm saying? Get your, get where you need to be. Once you become who you are destined to be, hoes won't have no issue with that shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We've been vibing for a while, whatever like that. When it's time to fuck, whatever like that, like, oh, you know the camera right there? All good. And the reason I tell you to tell that hoe she being recorded and not just record the bitch is because 
when you, I mean, you could do that shit too. I mean, it, like, but that's why I'm telling you. The reason I tell you to do it is because if she won't let you do that shit, that means you, that's, that's how you can gauge where you're at, whether you deserve to fuck or not. You deserve to fuck once you achieve your goal. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate. This is my whole thing with the three S's. Sobriety, solitude, and celibacy. When it's time to celebrate, you might get a little drink. Be around people at the club. Fuck a bitch. We celebrate. You niggas are doing this shit every day. And haven't achieved a fucking thing. In fact, you're failing. So you're celebrating failure. This is the issue. You understand? It's not safe. And the only fail-proof advice that I can give you is to stay off of every fucking dating site. Stay Focus on yourself right now. Right now, it is time to focus on yourself. You're not where you want to be in life anyway. At this point, you know, like, you've been procrastinating for, like, five years now on, I need to, you know what I'm saying, starting that business. You want to do that that hot dog truck. Um, You want to do that um that barbershop and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You need to get that shed fixed up and all that. Good. Like, you got so many things. You, you, you've had ideas, and you want to, you know what I'm saying, start them, but with work, the kids, and, you know, this bitch and shit like that. It's too much going on. As soon as you get all work, you know what I'm saying? You just want to go to sleep and shit like that. And that's how the, it just dust don't do nothing but pile the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So you're giving, I just said this on Instagram, you're giving the only thing that can get you out of this limbo, this monotone space, this, what is it? Um, um Starts with a P. This this is a, a purgatory. Yep, yeah, I guess purgatory. Um, just in this abyss. You're not you're not living. You're not alive. You're just existing. You know what I'm saying? Go to work, come home, go to sleep, eat, go to work, come home. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Fuck, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But it, there, there's any 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 happiness that you have is artificial, meaning that it doesn't come from within. It comes from you putting a substance into your body. Alcohol, pills, weed, you know what I'm saying, etc. and shit like that. You don't have any true happiness. You don't like the happiness of being able to give your mother money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, closing a big deal and shit like that. Like, um, locking in a, a college uh, tour. Like, like, you're not living the way that you thought you would be living. When you were 16 years old, you, you had an idea. When you were 21... You started moving forward. You, you went to college. You had such big dreams and, and, and these goals. But then life came. And that's where life really starts. Life doesn't start until, obviously, life comes. When life got there, uh, you know, you got, uh, it, is, it is squashing you. But now this is where life starts, where you push all that shit up off of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that struggle of getting up a little bit then falling. Getting up a little bit more than falling. You know what I'm saying? Getting up a little bit more than falling down again. Your arms are getting stronger. To where once you get this goddamn boulder off of you. These little bullshit. Gotta get my license. Gotta get, you know, get, I gotta get a fucking permit to do this. Gotta get this business license. Oh, they want me to get a, a, a county and a state license for this right here. All good. This ain't shit. Because I got life about, and life is them charges, child support, the probation, you know what I'm saying, for years and shit like that, getting off of dope mostly, you know what I'm saying, learning to live alone, Learn when I say alone, I don't just mean without a bitch, I mean, you can now do things and execute plans Without having someone else around. Yeah, me and my partner, we finna do this podcast. Me and my partner, we finna do this business. Me and my partner finna... You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need no fucking... You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna do shit but slow you down. If you're listening to me right now, you need to drop that person. That person that's on the side of you, 
You know what I'm saying? That that you're trying to start this business with. You you need to get that person to fuck away from you because they're not doing shit but slowing you down. You think ah oh, with another person it'll lighten the load of you know pain and pain and pain. And I'm trying to find a way to tell you this shit. If money is the only reason, think about it now. If money is the only reason that you're teaming up with another person, it's gonna fail. The reason why you should be teaming up with this person is because y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are just meshing. And whatever we do, like, we're gonna do the shit, to, like, the fuck? We attach it to the hip. Like, this is us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like the uh, the Hodge twins. They were, they attached. We're gonna do the shit anyway. We might well do it together. Not because I'm, I need a partner to put some money in with me. It's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I said, uh, and, and you needed to hear that, so I gave that to you. Um, let's get back to this uh, Sean Oakman situation. Um, the, the the biggest thing that I saw about this in a lot of rape cases, um, which you, you won't understand this shit and you won't even know this shit. Um, I've told you guys that Go look up um, defense for a false rape allegation charge. Legal defense for a false rape allegation charge. Look at that shit and look how, and just, just pay attention to how they, there's no way out. You're going to lose. It's made for you to lose. For an innocent man being accused of rape. When you hear rape kid, you get happy because it's like, okay, shit, yeah, rape kid going, I, I didn't rape this bitch, so hell yeah, rape kid going, that's going to prove my innocence. Only to find out the rape kid is not to help the defendant, only to strengthen the plaintiff's case, the victim's case. Quote, unquote, victim. Doesn't help you at all. Doesn't help. All it can do is hurt you. And for those of you who don't understand why this is so fucking serious to me, I ask you, why is it not serious? Why, like, why wouldn't it be serious to you? I know that there is a male in your life that you care about. Do you not see the issue with a woman being able from words, from words, being able to destroy a life? All she has to do is say rape and it's over. And it's this way because for those, for women who have been raped, for true rape victims, and that's one of the, the issues of defending a false rape, defending a rape defendant. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything that, they, that the rape victim does is textbook. If she cries on the stand, it's because she got raped. She's a victim. If she doesn't cry, oh, she's holding it in. She's a victim. If she stutters, oh, yeah, that, that's that's a symptom from being raped. If she can't remember things, oh, yeah, she probably went she, she probably went in and out because it was so traumatic. Yeah, I can understand that. If she gives one testimony... And then gives a, another testimony that, that's different. Oh, you know what? Sometimes rape victims, um, in their mind, it's, it's so horrible and horrendous that they'll paint a, a and, and a, go into a fantasy world. So, definitely. Anything that she does. So, I'm saying this because in a rape case, 
in today's rape cases where we're talking about this shit happened years ago. So there will be no physical evidence. It turns into a character trial. Meaning, who do we believe? That's all it is to it. Who do we believe? R. Kelly or this bitch? Oh yeah, I think she's lying. But then you'll have a true psychologist or a rape therapist or a rape specialist come in and say she shows all the signs of a rape victim. I can understand why she didn't come out until 10 years later. It, it's, it's so it, 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 What she went through was horrendous. No woman should ever have to go through that. So, and, and what's so crazy is that rape specialist, that shit that she's saying could go for any fucking woman. You could put any woman up there and it would make fucking sense. Don't matter who the fuck the defendant is, doesn't matter who the victim is. Same fucking, it's going to be the same spiel. She sold all the signs of a rape victim. She sold all the signs of a rape victim. When really, when really, all rape victims show signs of being a human being. You know what I'm saying? We've all been through something. And it's the same theory of the Shutter Island shit. If you haven't seen Shutter Island, that's another movie that is a AO Nation must-see. Um, because I'm going to use, I'm going to reference it a lot. Just like They Live. Uh, Brooklyn's Finest is another one. On Shutter Island, um, the whole concept of that movie, Inception is another movie you should watch. Um, the whole concept of Shutter Island is, is Leonardo Di- DiCaprio crazy? Or is it a conspiracy going on? And it's crazy shit. What it really breaks down to is it was said that if you went to a psychiatric, a crazy house and shit like that, just for a tour, and your family members got a call and said, and, and they said, hey, um, Ayo. Came here and just uh, during lunchtime, he just broke down. He just freaked out. We're gonna have to admit him here because he's just he's just flying off the handle. I don't know what's going on, but he just he just lost it. When that word gets back home and shit like that, and of course, insert your name into Ao Conseco's spot. So Rara was admitted. Bruh, bruh, Jaleesa, whatever the fuck. Um, when that word gets back to you, when they say that to your family, your family starts spreading the word like, they admitted them. Like, what your family and everybody's going to say is, yeah, I can see that happening. Look at all, yeah, he's been through a lot. I, I thought he would have broke down a lot sooner. I can't believe it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad they're giving him help, though. And... Of course, you can't get yourself out because anything you say after that is just words of a fucking ramblings of a crazy man. You know what I'm saying? Once you've been deemed insane, doesn't matter how sound your theory is, no one's going to fucking listen. The people that listen will be conspiracy theorists and, and we just have the flat earth community all over again. The 9-11 community all over again. It's in plain sight, but still nothing happens. Oh, they're just fucking conspiracy theories. So this is what we have. Of course she's been raped. Look, look, look at how she moves. Yes, yeah, she's been raped. Look how, look how she doesn't have sex that much. Look how she has sex all the time. And I have to put it together like this for you so that you can understand what's happening in all of these cases. In every one of these cases, this is what's going on. They get a rape kit. They get a rape specialist. And a black man. That's all you need for a rape case. A woman, a rape kit, 
Some, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes, listen to me. It was a case here in Alabama, actually in Baldwin County, where because the bitch said that. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to have sex, but then once we started having sex, I told him to stop. And it, 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 the whole time we were having sex, I, 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 he was having sex with me. I was telling him, "Stop having sex with me! Stop having sex with me! Stop having sex with me!" This is her actual statement. Her actual statement said that during the whole process of having sex, she repeated. Over and over and over, stop having sex with me. Stop having sex with me. As a police officer, I'm asking you guys. As a police officer, and you read that, would you proceed with that case? Guess what they did. Not only did they they proceed, but a grand jury found probable cause to, well, you know, a, a judge uh, at preliminary hearing, they did a secret indictment. At preliminary hearing, they found probable cause to send that case up to a grand jury. And they put out a fucking warrant and had the U.S. Marshals go get that fucking dude. Only for, of course, and then, of course, he had to bond out for thousands of dollars, acquire and retain a fucking rape lawyer for 10000 The state didn't even give up this dude no fucking deal. They were going to bury him. Knowing it was so many inconsistencies in this fucking case. They were going to bury him. The only re- reason they didn't is because the bitch didn't come to court. The day of trial, the fucking prosecutor and all them had this. They told the judge, we, we, we can't find her. We, she, we've been trying to get in contact with her for a whole week. Case dismissed. The DA then went over there and talked to the fucking defendant and said, I was leaning towards your side anyway. I was leaning towards your side anyway. This boy went and met with the DA, the, the, the lead detective on the case, and two other fucking white men. The boy went with his lawyer to meet all these people. Like, hey, listen. It's obvious that this is a bullshit case. Like, it's obvious that this bitch is mad. She said she drove 30 minutes to where I'm at just to get gas money. I text her. Fuck with me. She then replied, Where? Obviously, she wanted to fuck. She got here. We fucked. Afterwards, she dropped me off at my homeboy house. I blocked her on everything. Every app, every, everywhere. I blocked her. The next day, she goes to the police station, or she goes to the police station and says that the dude raped her. They did a rape kit at the fucking hospital. And because the rape kit would not not help the prosecutor in the DA's case. They they wouldn't even allow. The boy's lawyer said that they weren't going to court without the rape kit. That... They went to a, a the hearing before trial. Lawyer told the judge, "Hey, uh, the rape kid isn't hasn't come back yet. We didn't, we didn't want to go to trial without that." The prosecutor said, "Well, the rape kid isn't is really it doesn't really show anything. Only thing it shows is that sex was it that um, intercourse took place, and we're not we're not um, we're not arguing about that. We we know that intercourse took place. Well, where um, where the um, crime took place is that." Um, he was told to stop during intercourse and he didn't do it. The judge 
sent trial without the fucking rape kit. Also, on rape kits, it, it takes... They're backed up two years on rape kits. Two years. And it will take... How long? Damn near two years to get your results back. So that's four years. This is how much... The judge said we're going to trial without the, the rape kit. We're going to a rape trial without a rape kit. I didn't know none of this shit, dog. I didn't know it, I didn't know none of this shit until it hit one of my fucking loved ones. And it's just like anything else in life. You don't give a fuck about cancer until it hits one of your loved ones. You don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a car accident until it happens to one of your loved ones. You don't know shit about glaucoma sema until it hit one of your loved ones. Now you're trying to find out why in the fuck is Doritos uh, making their chips with um, yellow three, which is the main cause of glaucoma semia. You know what I'm saying? But this thing here, what I'm saying is, this false rape allegation shit, you don't have to eat a certain food or be on a certain roadway. This shit can happen the next time your bitch get mad at you. Or, as soon as you reach the goal that you've been striving for. Because a lot of these cases come from niggas' past. So that means that you make it to where you're going, now you're successful, everyone knows it. Nothing ass bitch from your past come back and say that her child is yours. You do a DNA test, you find out it ain't. That whole take that as a, a front. And now she say that you raped her. And she got pictures of y'all being together. And she get hip. Dog, it's a book out. Look at my Instagram. It's a book out. How to destroy a man. Telling hoes to call rape. Because it would destroy, at the very least, it would destroy his fucking image. Angela Ray just fucking with the, the fucking Myron dude, the football player, turned uh, a neurologist. And I just said, I just said this shit. I just said it. On my Instagram, I just said, for you, I know that you nothing ass bitches don't give a fuck because that's a that's the criteria. It's a requirement to be a nothing ass bitch. You have to be selfish, inconsiderate of everything. But do you not understand that because of you, because I, nothing ass bitches is, is like one big bitch, just like how. White supremacists look at all of us. Shot the Tyreek and she look at all of us as one big nigga. I look at you, nothing as bitches, as one big organism. So, one big consciousness. So, because you keep trying to fuck niggas' life up by calling domestic violence, rape, ya ya ya. Do you know what I think anytime I hear any girl call rape? I think she's lying. There are real rape victims out there that don't come forward because they were scared, because they were threatened by their fucking assailant. I'm going to kill your whole family. This happened when they was young. And it does take courage to come forward. Are you thinking about them at all? Because once this girl 
gets up enough courage. She's 18 years old now. She's gotten up enough courage. Look at this. Let me paint the picture for you. She's 18 years old. Because she was... Because her innocence was taken away, she's confused. So she's online taking pictures, has weave, makeup, all that shit. But she's telling the truth. She was actually raped when she was a child. Do you know what I'm going to think? She's a lying ass, nothing ass bitch. Some of these real rape victims don't have anything but their words. There will be no real physical evidence. It happened years ago. But because you nothing ass bitches. Because you're mad at but whatever fucking reason. In this case with Sean Oatman, it was a fucking white girl got drunk. Probably try to hit him for some money. Whatever. But because you didn't get what you wanted. Relationship, money, whatever the fuck it is. Not only will you destroy his life. But you'll destroy the chance of a true rape victim to get justice. And honestly... I believe that's the true crime because as I'm pushing for this me and two shit, nothing ass bitch, nothing ass bitch, nothing ass bitch. My worst fucking fear is that I will call something the wrong way. A girl who finally mustered up enough courage to come forward and point out The person who took everything from them. And I'll be the one to say, you nothing ass bitch, you lying ass ho. And fall back into the motherfucking shadows. All because, not because uh, I'm thrown off, but because I'm having to adapt to war. When we went to Vietnam, we didn't fight the same way we fought in Desert Storm. The same way we fought in Iraq. We wore different fucking uniforms for one. The guerrilla warfare here. And one of them we could just do everything from air assaults. I have to adapt to the battlefield. This shouldn't be one. Trying to determine whether or not a bitch is telling the truth or not about rape. Of course, not death, domestic violence, but about rape. You're not just destroying this man's life. You're making that window smaller and smaller for that little girl to get justice. It's a big face podcast. Same story. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you subscribe to the Men 2 YouTube channel. The Men 2 Podcast. See you on a minute. Love.